The Hoppy B4A headlamp aimer is the best on the market today. It's a mechanical aimer that is simple to use and that will perform perfectly for you time after time. With a little practice, you'll soon learn that aligning headlamps is as simple as turning two screws. You'll find everything you need in the kit itself, including two aiming units, all the proper adapters, extension rings, even an Allen wrench for calibrating the vertical adjustment. Also included is a detailed instruction manual with helpful illustrations for each step of the aiming procedure. We've even included a second manual with some helpful ideas on how to merchandise the service and several posters and banners you can use around the shop to help you generate interest among your customers. In the next few minutes, we'll take you through each step of the aiming process. You may want to refer to this tape again now and then as you practice each step. After you've done it a few times, you'll feel comfortable with the aimer and the entire procedure should take only a few minutes. The aiming process is actually two parts, checking the aim and aiming. We'll talk about checking the aim later, but first let's go through the aiming process step by step. We'll start with vehicle preparation. This is a simple but important step. Check to see that the tires are inflated properly and clean the headlamp lenses and aiming pads. This is spelled out in the instruction manual so we won't spend a lot of time on it here. It is important to do it though so the aimers will do the job accurately. Your aimers won't work accurately unless the floor slope is taken into account. This is something you should have to do only once, however, when you use the same area every time. You simply permanently mark the area, indicate where the front tires will rest each time you perform the aiming service. Calibrate the floor slope for that area and note the setting on the aimers. The first step in floor slope calibration is to attach the owner's calibration fixtures to the aimers. They'll snap into place easily when they're properly positioned. Now place the aimers at the center line of each wheel on either side of the vehicle. Unit A goes at the rear wheel with the target facing to the front. Unit B goes near the front wheel with the target facing the rear. Next, level each unit by turning the thumb adjusting screw on each calibration fixture. See? Each adjusting screw is near the floor on the side facing the aimer. Turn this screw one way or the other until the level vial bubble on the top of the unit registers a centered level position. Now, looking into the top porthole of unit A, the one by the rear wheel, turn the horizontal upper knob until the split image is aligned. At this point, you'll have a plus or minus reading on the horizontal dial. Transfer this reading to the floor level dial on each aimer. Press the floor level dial inward to set the reading. And that's all there is to it. Remove the owner's calibration fixtures from each aimer and you're ready to do the actual aiming. Remember, if you use the same location each time you align headlamps, the floor slope calibration won't need to be done again. Mark the floor slope settings right on the floor so you can refer to them each time. Just to get an idea of what you're trying to accomplish in the aiming procedure, it may help to think of it as though you were using a carpenter square. The idea is to work on a plane that is vertical to the bottom of the vehicle's tires and parallel to each other. Hoppy's Headlight Aimer Kit is complete with adapters for all automobile headlamps that are legal for use in North America. Remember, regardless of the type of lamps, they are always aimed in pairs. Your instruction manual shows you the correct adapter to be used, depending on the kind of headlamp you are aligning. The adapters snap easily into place when they're properly positioned. You'll find adapters for circular or rectangular, two or four lamp systems, 
and for mini quad headlamps. Again, the instruction manual will show you which adapter to use and whether you'll need to use the vacuum extension plate assembly. For aerodynamic lamps, the numbers used to set the rods on the universal adapter to the proper horizontal and vertical settings are found on the face of the lamp. For demonstration purposes, we'll be aiming a standard rectangular two-lamp system. So we'll use the large black adjustable adapter. First, we'll adjust the rods on the adapter to the zero setting. Now put the adapter on the aimer with the single rod at the top. With the adjusting rod set on the proper number, you're ready to attach the aimers to each headlamp. Remember that unit A must be used on the driver side of the vehicle and unit B on the passenger side. The yellow targets of each aimer must face toward each other. Holding the aimer in your left hand, rest the adapter pads on the headlamp aiming pads. Then, Push the white piston handle with the right hand until the suction cup engages the headlamp. Then quickly pull the piston handle back until it locks in place. Attach both aimers in the same manner. Now we're ready to adjust the horizontal and vertical aim of each headlamp. Make certain the floor level dials are set correctly based on the settings you determined earlier. We'll set the horizontal aim first. The horizontal dial should be set at zero. Now, turn the horizontal adjusting screw at the side of the first headlamp until the split image of the target line appears in the mirror as one solid line. We're still adjusting the horizontal aim, so we'll repeat these steps on the opposite aimer and headlamp. Set the horizontal dial at zero and align the split image of the target line by turning the horizontal adjusting screw at the side of the headlamp. When you've done this on both headlamps, the horizontal aim is set correctly. Now we'll adjust the vertical aim. On the first headlamp, set the vertical dial on the aimer at zero. Turn the vertical adjusting screw at the top of the headlamp until the level bubble is centered between the lines. When the vertical adjustment is complete on the first headlamp, repeat the process on the second one. When this is done, you need to recheck the target alignment one last time on both aimers and readjust the horizontal aim if necessary. The final turn of the adjustment screw should be in a clockwise direction to prevent backlash. The aimer is removed by holding it securely and pressing the vacuum release button located in the center of the piston handle. If you are aligning a four lamp system, you'll repeat the process for the second pair of lamps. And that's all there is to it. It may look and sound complicated at first, but as we said, after you've aligned the headlamps on a few vehicles, it will become a very simple procedure that you'll be able to carry out in only a few minutes. There will probably be times when you'll want to check a customer's headlamps to see if they do need alignment. Actually, this is a good service to offer free of charge and can lead to increased aiming business. To check the aim, you'll attach the aimers to the headlamps just as though you were to perform the aiming operation. Remember to check the floor slope dial to see that it is at the correct setting. Check the horizontal aim by turning the horizontal dial until the split image is in alignment. If the horizontal dial scale reads more than a value of two, the headlamps need aiming. Check the vertical aim by turning the vertical dial until the level vial is centered. If the vertical dial scale reads more than a value of two, the headlamps should be re-aimed. 
Practice the procedure of checking the aim and aligning headlights a few times and you'll feel comfortable with the process. Refer to your owner's instruction manual for detailed instructions and pretty soon you'll have the entire procedure down pat. Proper headlamp alignment is an important safety factor and you are providing a valuable service. In addition, it is a profitable service when merchandised properly. From Hopkins Manufacturing Corporation, we wish you good aiming.